Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Amari Kalia. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I do on a daily basis to heal my gut. This is something that I'm still learning about, so everything that I'm doing is really centered around lifestyle and habit changes. So every morning before I go to the gym, I take these pre and probiotic supplements. I've been taking these for about a week, and so I haven't been able to notice any changes yet. But this is a good way for me to support the good bacteria that's in my gut. As you guys know, exercising is something that I do six days a week. And exercise is very important for your gut because you want to make sure that you're moving and making sure that everything in your body is circulating and just doing all of the functions that it's supposed to be doing. Every morning while I'm at the gym, I always finish my water bottle. But when I do the semester, I always finish my water bottle before I even finish my full workout. But this is just an example of how I'm always making sure that I'm staying hydrated. Breakfast time is always easiest for me to get in my pre and probiotic foods. You guys can see on the screen exactly what I'm putting into my oatmeal and what exactly has the pre and probiotic um, bacteria in it. So this is just a great way for me to make sure that I'm eating foods that are supporting my gut health. I stay away from dairy because we all know that dairy is really not good for most people. But also for me, like I said, it's just something that I am changing in my lifestyle and in my diet. Just trying to reduce how much dairy I eat and drink. For the most part, the only thing that I really um, intake that's dairy is maybe like butter. Sometimes I eat some cheeses like macaroni and cheese or I might add cheese to something. But that's very rare that I do that. So I always use almond milk or oat milk um, and I just stay away from dairy because really it's not good for your health and there's so much research on it.
today is a work day and they actually just changed our policy to where if you are still in training, you have to be in the office until October 1st. So even though today is Tuesday, I if you watched my, my recent videos, you know that I went from home Tuesday through Thursday. But they just changed the policy because they want all of the new hires to be in the office Monday through Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my lunch because I don't know where I'm going to be when I eat my lunch today. And I probably, if I'm in the office, I'm not going to record because I just don't want to record while I'm in the office. But for lunch today, I'm having some black beans, corn, some pico de gallo, and some ground turkey. And basically, this, the beans and the corn was leftovers from my Southwest chicken wraps last week. And I didn't want to just throw it away, so I just tried to make it into something new for today and tomorrow. So this is my lunch. I'm just going to warm it up and eat it like this, like a bowl. I'm not going to eat it with like a tortilla or anything. Just because I don't want to add in the extra unnecessary carbs. So if I don't get to show you guys, you were able to see what I have for lunch today. And I also want to show you, this is the water bottle that I use. This takes up about two and a half of regular plastic water bottles. So my goal is to always finish this before I come home from work or by the time I come home from work. Okay y'all, so I am home from work. It is 4.12. Technically I'm supposed to get up at 5.30, but I finished my home visit early. So I came home, took a shower as y'all can see, and now I'm about to have a snack. So I tried to eat like a small snack in between my meals. So like, I have breakfast and then I'll have a snack and then I have lunch, and then I have a snack and then I have dinner. Or sometimes I don't eat a snack in between lunch and dinner and I have a snack after dinner. I'm sorry if y'all hear my dog. I'm just gonna stop saying that because he just feels like I guess he gotta be in my YouTube videos too. So if y'all heard something in the background in any of my videos, it's gonna always be my dog. And I, sh I showed y'all him in my last video actually. I had a banana for my snack today. I try not to eat bananas for breakfast, like with my breakfast, unless I eat it with overnight oats or oatmeal. But like me just eating a banana on the side, I've been trying not to do that because, I don't know, I just feel like they make me really full, fast. So I had a banana, so now for my snack, I'm going to eat some fruits, of course. So I'm going to eat the apples left over from this morning. And then I'm going to mix some pineapples and a few strawberries together. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Greek yogurt and vanilla in it. Because the Greek yogurt that I have, it's the non-fat plain Greek yogurt. So it is very, very bland. This is what I used in my overnight oats this morning. I Or my oatmeal this morning. I could just make a smoothie, but... I'm gonna show y'all the smoothie mix that I have. So when I make smoothies, I always buy frozen, like a frozen bag of already mixed um, fruit. And so this is an antioxidant fruit blend. So there's strawberries, cherries, blueberries, pomegranate, and raspberries. So this is, I've only had it once, I bought this from Target. I usually always get strawberry, banana, and like basically like a berry mix with Banana. I never get um like a berry bag like with just berries because I feel like it'd be too sour and I like this one um but it has too many seeds I'm assuming from the pomegranate it says pomegranate arrows arrows a r i l s I don't know I've never heard that before but there's a lot of seeds in it and it kind of get on my nerves so I haven't made it since I bought it last week. But I'm gonna drink the rest of it. I just don't feel like picking out the seeds right now. I literally have to spit out the seeds like every 30 seconds. So yeah, I'm just gonna have this little food bowl. And like I said, it's 4.15. I'm not gonna eat dinner until like 7, 7.30. So I'm about to make me a fruit bowl and then I'm gonna finish some work. I have a couple more things to do for my job and then I'm done for the day.
Okay y'all, so it is 7.29 and I'm about to eat dinner. So for dinner, I'm having mashed potatoes, broccoli, and um, a chicken drumstick. So usually when I eat broccoli, I boil it, but I learned from somebody the secret to having some good taste in broccoli. So I put it in the air fryer with some seasonings and olive oil. So I'm excited to try it. But this is a part of my meal prep for this week. I made this yesterday. So I'm about to warm it up. And this is typically what I eat for dinner. I eat like chicken with some greens and I choose a veggie. I mean a, a carb. So it's either mashed potatoes, either baked potatoes or rice. So I also want to show you guys the lunch that I made for week, this week. So for two days, I'm eating the lunch that I had today, which was the ground turkey, black beans, corn, and salsa. So it's kale, salad, cucumber, tomato, and half a chicken breast. So this is just another example of how I try to eat a balanced meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't have any carbs with this unless you count like the greens or veggies as carbs but i don't have any like starchy carbs and i try to keep my lunch that way that's why i didn't add any rice or um tortillas with my ground turkey bowl for lunch today so this is just an example of like what i'm also doing to heal my gut like food is the number one thing that i'm paying attention to when it comes to creating like a healthy gut and eating whole foods and foods that won't cause any discomfort or inflammation or any other chronic issues. Okay, I'm about to taste the broccoli for the first time. It tastes so much better. So I use, I put olive oil, lemon pepper, and I think garlic powder in a bowl. And then of course I use frozen broccoli and I put it in the bowl, mix it all together and I put it in the air fryer for like 10 minutes. So this is really good. Like it has much more flavor than boiling it with butter, black pepper and garlic powder. I also forgot to mention that I air fry my chicken so when I cook, I either air fry, bake, or stir. I never fry any of my foods, and that is because fried foods are terrible for the gut. For me, whenever I eat french fries, I am like super bloated, and my stomach definitely gets kind of irritated, especially because I don't eat it a lot anymore as much as I used to. I had fries maybe a week or two ago because we went to Taco Mac, and I got fries, but that's the only time I eat french fries is if I go out to eat. And even when I go out to eat, I don't even get french fries anymore. So, I'll say all that to say, I stay away from fried foods, I stay away from super processed foods, and I stay away from anything that really is, there, anything that has too much sugar or too much sodium. So that's why, I, cook at home and I rarely go out to eat because I have control over how much seasoning I put into my food and we have sugar but I don't even use sugar the only thing I may use sugar for is if I'm making some type of like sauce or something in a recipe that I found on Pinterest or TikTok or whatever but like my coffee I don't put sugar in my coffee um I don't put sugar in anything actually nothing I don't put sugar in anything like I said, the most is like I use brown sugar for like a teriyaki sauce that I made, but other than that, and then so yeah, I never fry. I don't even have vegetable oil. I don't have flour. I do have flour because I use it for the teriyaki sauce, but other than that, I just stay away from frying anything. So I was also going to say that I do not eat red meat as well. So that's why you always see chicken on my channel. I probably already said this in previous videos, but the only meat I eat is chicken and ground turkey. And I eat like turkey bacon, but I do not eat red meat. I don't eat pork. I don't eat beef, which is red meat. I stay away from all of those foods because 
Really, I wish I could be vegetarian, but I've tried it multiple times and it's just, it's so hard to do, but eventually I will be vegetarian, maybe. Um, but I just stay away from red meat because I know that it's super hard to digest. And honestly, meat is really not good for you, but at the same time, I like to be realistic and it's really hard to get in protein without eating a whole bunch of like fake meat. So I just stick to chicken, preferably white meat, but I eat dark meat sometimes because my boyfriend likes dark meat, but I stick to chicken, ground turkey, turkey bacon, maybe like turkey sandwich meat, but that's processed in itself. So I just keep it very, very simple. Chamomile tea is something that I just added to my routine. I bought this a long time ago for a whole nother reason, but I like it because it's caffeine free and it's really good with some honey. I'm not really a tea person and I'm not drinking it for gut health necessarily. I just think that it's good to drink to like wind down and get ready for bed. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and subscribe to my channel.